If somebody openly admits to being toxic, you would think that they are mostly joking. This TikTok mom who uses her kids for a lot of her content has been stirring up quite the controversy over on the platform. We are going to be taking a look at one of the most toxic mommy content creators at the moment. I never thought that I would be that toxic boy mom. I love my four kids equally, but that last little boy <laughs> just hits different. And now I feel like I'm having this existential crisis. Or I wouldn't be that mom, that toxic boy mom. He hits his sisters, he punches them. I'm like, maybe he's having a hard day. So when I think about my daughters getting married, I get excited, right? Think about their dresses, planning their weddings. When I think about my son's wedding, I wanna cry. Boy mums, we gotta step up. We gotta realize that we are the problem. This is the most odd self-awareness that I have ever seen in my time of doing this channel. There is quite a bit that we need to address from this video because she isn't joking. I never thought that I would be that toxic boy mum. Then proceeds to tell everyone that yes, she is a toxic boy mum. And let me just tell you, the experiences that I've had with guys who have these kinds of mothers are some of the worst experiences. I am somebody that actively chose not to surround myself with guys who have these types of mums because they bring their toxicity onto you tenfold. I love all my four kids equally, but that last little boy hits different. Her other three kids are girls. And it sickens me to think that she has now created this digital footprint where in the future, when her children do grow up and see this, she will just play it off as, oh, I was just joking kids. Like, but I really do not think she is joking about this, of course, because of the video she made, but we're going to be taking a look at some other content in just a moment. How does your last child, who just so happens to be a boy, hit different. But this isn't even as bad as the part as where she admits that if her little boy is hitting and punching and using violence against her other kids, she doesn't care because he must be having a bad day. And you know what that teaches these young girls? That if a man or anyone else happens to hit them or abuse them, to look at it as, no, that's that's not abuse. That's not really a bad thing. You have to think about him or this person who just abused you. He was probably, they were probably having a bad day. You are a product of the environment that you're from or that you're in. Not in all cases, but a lot of the time when mums specifically foster the behavior that their young sons do, they won't know the difference between right or wrong. So this is from the sound, you will be popular. Once again, reinforcing that idea that she favors her son more than she favors her daughters, of course, because the center of her videos seem to be a lot about her son. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I am glad that she loves at least one of her kids. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. But seriously, you can really see the favoritism. And I think that especially when you put this out online, you have to understand that they're going to see this one day, no matter if you delete it or not, no matter if, you know, I get angry DMs telling me to take this video down because I'm wrong and all this kind of stuff. But you're the one who put this content out into the public verse. Uh, same as this one. When you try to pick on your little bro, but you forget he's mom's favorite. Like once again, I don't know what she is doing. I, I feel like there is a little bit of sadness satire here, of course, because I would hate to think that there is parents out there who will create content out of favoring a child over their other children. Um, even as a joke, that isn't funny. Like it's the joke here in the room with us. I heard absolutely nothing. I didn't hear a laugh. I didn't even hear a chuckle. And to the people who are supporting this behavior and saying like, oh, it's just jokes, guys. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Because she admitted that she is a toxic boy mom and that she does need to do better, but words mean absolutely jack shit if no action is being taken. Now, 
Because of this backlash that she has been receiving over on TikTok because of this content that she has been creating, she took one of her daughters out to fix her relationship with her daughter, which I, I think is quite interesting. Do you already not have a good relationship with your daughter who isn't even 10 yet? Getting rid of my girls for the weekend so I can have the fave child all to myself. Once again, whether these are jokes or not, they're not fucking funny. Of course, I don't want to be that really cringe motherfucker who's like, oh, this isn't funny, so nobody else would find this funny. No, that's not it at all. I'm not the chairman of comedy, but you are just showing your daughters that, yeah, obviously they aren't as important. They do not and will never mean as much to her as her son does because she even spoke about her daughters getting married weird. I mean, they're not even at the age where they can date people yet, dude. And she, she thinks about them getting married and she's so happy for that. But when she thinks about her son getting married, she's really sad. And that's emotional incest, babe. I don't know if you know this or understand this. So next time you wanna upload a joke, just understand that what you're joking about is serious fucking damage that you're doing to all children. There were a lot of people who were talking about the fact that their mums used to be like this and not even the son talks to their mum anymore because it was too overbearing. You know, you get to a point in your life and you're like, wait, I can't have a girlfriend or a boyfriend because my mum wants to keep me all for herself. So that's another episode of the fucking internet oddities, I guess. But with that being said, I want to bring the question over to you. Are you somebody who has ever had to deal with this? Are you a son that has ever had to deal with this? Are you a daughter who has ever had to deal with this? Please let me know your stories down in the comment section below. And with that being said, I'm gone. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Most of all, love your fucking selves.